Welcome to Sparks of History, where world history and Jewish history meet. Today, we are extremely pleased to have with us award-winning author, Professor Jonathan Sperber. Professor Sperber is the Curator's Professor Emeritus of History at the University of Missouri. He is a member of the German Studies Association and the American Historical Association. His works include Popular Catholicism in 19th Century Germany, The Kaiser's Voters, Electors, and Elections in Imperial Germany, Revolutionary Europe, 1780 to 1850, and The European Revolutions, 1848 to 1851. And today we will be discussing Professor Sperber's Karl Marx, A 19th Century Life. As you can see, it is a thick book. It is incredibly researched, footnotes and annotations, um, taking us through the life of Karl Marx stage by stage. It is, uh, as the New York Times has called it, an absorbing, meticulously researched biography. And Karl Marx, 19th century life, was a 2014 Pulitzer Prize finalist in biography. I simply went on to Amazon, clicked the button, purchased it, had it delivered, and certainly suggest and recommend to all our viewers and listeners. Um, it's, it's really worth worthwhile. Um, so let's get started. Um, just a little bit, uh, Professor Sperber, about your background and how you became interested in Karl Marx. All right. Well, I uh, there's a family history. I come from a left wing family, what sometimes call, sometimes what they call a red diaper baby. Um, and my youth, when I went to the university, um, it was sort of the height of the student movement of the 1960s, at the point at which it was like veering into various forms of generally sectarian Marxism. As a graduate student in the 1970s, um, I observed the enormous conflict in Anglo-American historians between the culturalists and the structuralist Marxists. So I thought I really knew pretty well what Marx was all about. And then one day in the academic year, 1987-88, when I was a postdoctoral fellow of the Alexander von Humboldt Stiftung at the University of Cologne, <coughs> I was sitting, <coughs> excuse me, I was sitting in the university municipal library in Cologne reading, I was at the time, I was working on a book, A History of the Revolution of 1848 in Western Germany. And I was reading um, a famous collection of sources, which has um, in German, the rather awful title, Rheinische Briefe und Akten zur Geschichte der politischen Bewegung. Um, and what I was reading was an account of the speech that Karl Marx gave to the Cologne Democratic Society in August of 1848, at which he, uh, said that the idea of the dictatorship of a single class was nonsense. He denounced the class struggle. I remember thinking to myself, wait a minute, that's not the Marx I know. There's something very interesting going on here. And I need to write a biography of Marx. Um, academia being what it is, took me a quarter of a century to finish it, to get it done. Um, I did a lot of other projects on the way. But that was how it, it emerged from what I thought I knew about Marx. And um, a lot of people, I'd say, who left-wing intellectual milieu in English-speaking countries knew about Marx and some of the realities of Marx's life in the 19th century. 